this undertone of this argument that somehow because for-profit companies are going to uh, want to compete for education dollars is the end of public education as we know it. You know, th th this is just an Occupy Wall Street argument that we see going on all across the country where there's this attack on capitalism and, 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 and attack on profits. That The fact is, in public education, there have been companies, private companies, that have been making profits on K-12 education long before I was ever state superintendent and as long as I've been in school. If you're selling curriculum, if you are selling assessments, if you're selling textbooks, if you're selling paper and pencils, if you're selling fuel for buses, if you're selling buses, these are all for-profit companies that have been dealing with K-12 uh, uh, public schools for decades and they make a profit. And what happens with those profits? They pay a tax on those profits and then those taxes turn around and fund our education system. So I'm a capitalist. I do not uh, apologize for uh, an, uh, uh, an economic system in our country that has, has provided you know, the, the quality of life that we currently have. But this whole, ar this whole argument, like I said, it's a Wall Street, it, it's an Occupy Wall Street kind of mentality that all of a sudden there's going to be, a, that somebody's going to make a profit off of our public education system and that's, that, that's a terrible thing. It's been going on for decades and it hasn't hurt our public education system. In fact, I think it's, it's made it better. We have better curriculum today because for-profit companies are involved in developing it and providing it to our districts. We have better textbooks today because for-profit companies are involved in developing the textbooks and then marketing them to our school districts. We have better assessments today because for-profit companies have been involved in developing those assessments and, and making them available. And I would argue we have safer and better quality buses today because for-profit companies have designed those and marketed them to our, our public schools. So um, it, it's, 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 not, it's nothing new, but I guess it is a new argument.